Over the past year, millions of Ukrainians have crossed the border to escape war. According to the International Organization for Migration, the conflict has displaced more than 13 million people. Five and a half million people have reportedly already returned home, but the majority remain abroad. The European Fundamental Rights Agency has decided to find out how Ukrainians live abroad. It selected the 10 countries that were most relevant at the time of the survey at the end of summer 2022. These are the countries that share a land border with Ukraine, or that receive the largest number of displaced people from Ukraine, in overall or proportional terms. The European Union was quick to create mechanisms to welcome Ukrainian migrants. A third of over 14,500 respondents applied for asylum in the host country, but the vast majority only asked for temporary protection. The reason may have to do with how they look to the future. One in three respondents ultimately intends to return to Ukraine. Only one in five seem determined to put down their roots abroad. Despite various aid programs, most Ukrainians pay at least part of their housing costs. 38% pay all their bills, between rent, water, electricity, gas and communications, but 79% say that they find it difficult to stretch their income to the end of the month. But the biggest barrier to employment is the lack of language knowledge of the host country. Two-thirds speak none or very little of the national language. Almost the same percentage don't attend language classes. The European Agency for Fundamental Rights hopes to facilitate the smooth and gradual return of Ukrainians back to their country. Repatriation is expected to take place en masse once the conflict is over.